A major bridge in Baltimore collapsed overnight. You'll see it in this video. It was hit by a cargo ship. Just look at that. Multiple vehicles and people were sent into the very cold water below. The governor of Maryland has declared a state of emergency. And now we're going to check in with Amanda because some details are beginning to emerge about what could have caused this. Yeah, and Reggie knew just in the few last few minutes, I should say, the NTSB just announced it's launching a team to investigate this collapse. An unclassified cybersecurity report released this morning says the ship lost propulsion as it was leaving the port and warned of a possible collision. We want to show you what it looks like right now as the sun is coming up on the East Coast. You can see just how big that ship is and where it hit the bridge. The waterway into and out of the port has been closed and there is no other route into the port. It's the second busiest in the mid-Atlantic. Officials say an upwards of seven individuals are in the water. Two people were rescued so far. One was not hurt and the other was taken to a trauma center in very serious condition. Many people rely on the Francis Scott Key Bridge every day. It's the entryway to a major shipping channel that controls the entire country. It supplies everything from cars to sugar to manufacturing equipment. The mayor of Baltimore spoke with GMA this morning and calls this an unspeakable tragedy. It's very cold borders. Uh, we're dealing with obviously uh, the tide coming in. Uh, so this is very windy. So we understand that this is not a, a easy operation for them. They can dive and will do in this water, but this is not something where this is gonna be a quick and easy thing. Uh, this is going to be an ongoing search and rescue, and they will be doing that work uh, to make sure that we can save every soul possible. Tens of thousands of people travel on this bridge every day. Last year, more than 12 million cars crossed over the Key Bridge. Synergy Marine Group owns the ship and reported all of their crew members and pilots on board that ship are safe. President Biden has been briefed on this incident. The White House has said there is no indication of any nefarious intent, but they are monitoring the situation.